morning, good afternoon, good how you doing? It's your boy Z here. No need to be fear. You guys in my way. You guys are gonna get spared. Today we got the cool news. That time. Yeah. Yatra, Yatra, whatever his name is, violate Ichigo across the Soul Society. I did saw him. He did that shit. And I was not pleased. The reason he didn't kill him, because he see Ichigo, he's like, Ichigo is kind of like, well, first of all, spoilers. He kind of like half soul, just half soul and half Quincy. Because Yachtro will try to have Ichigo join the forces with him, but Ichigo refuses. So. So that's how it happened. So I'm going to do this reaction. If you like, subscribe, support, and let's jump to this shit, bitch. That boy Ichigo finally made it to the Soul Society. I saw that man Biaki on 1% HP. He said, please, biggest of bros, I need you to save the Soul Society. And ooh, boy, look at that shot, man. Ichigo's angry as hell. Finna go put his paws on you, ha So he pulls up on dog and that. Whoa, 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 slow down there, playboy. Before we get to you, ha versus Ichigo, we gotta go back. Cause this man Quilge pulled up in Hueco Mundo and was just slaughtering all the Espada and Aroncar there. And Ichigo like, hold on, wait a minute, they my twin in him. Also Nail pulled up and was like, hey, can you, um, can you help these guys not blow up my house? Like, I kind of live there and they're not being nice. So Ichigo pulled up in Hueco Mundo and Quilge just got done violating the Trace Beasties. And hold on a second, that's already three fouls on the play. He done laid his hand on three baddies. Oh yeah, I'm gonna jump through the screen and start putting my hands on dog. And I'm especially spinning back for Mila Rose. Do you see her, my beautiful Ebony Queen? Oh yeah, it's up for dog. Ichigo, don't even worry about it. I got this. But Quill get for Ebony Queen? This nigga, this nigga cool as a simp. <laughs> oh yeah, it's up for dog. Ichigo, don't even worry about it. I got this. But Quill Gay sees Ichigo and he's like, <laughs> don't even worry about nothing, big dog. I got some for that ass. As dogs started getting snuck by Quinches and they all shot these arrows at dogs making this mean ass explosion. But Ichigo saw them boys pull out boys and was like, a Quincy derogatory. But Quilge pulled out his weapon and he shot a arrow out of a sword directly at Ichigo. But Ichigo caught the arrow and threw that hole back at Quilge. And Quilge's like, oh, okay, I right, bet. Don't worry, bro. I still got some for that for ass. Me. As he pulls out his Quincy medallion, his ass goes full standing. The Quincy version of a Bonkai. And oh yeah, man, I've said it a hundred times and I'll say it a hundred more times. This nigga Kubo don't miss with the design. But his ass even caught Ichigo off guard. He blitzed the mess out of my goat. Dog did not know where his ass went and he almost got cooked for it. But Ichigo got out of dodge. And oh baby, these boys start boxing i'm talking about minka 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 all over hueco mundo but quilge was on the offensive while ichigo was the one doing all the defense but quilge ass was yapping the whole damn time i mean like dog shut up bro was giving ichigo a history lesson on the quincy's and all ichigo want to do was box but Quilge goes for this overhead sword slash and Ichigo blocks that too. And Ichigo is like, bro, you, you done talking broken? Cause you was finna put my ass to sleep. And Ichigo pushes Quilge off of him, charges up a Getsuga and fires that hoe directly at Quilge. And look at that Getsuga, man. That shit is beautiful. But me over here thinking my goat just caught a body. But all that happiness leaves my body as I see Ichigo's sword has been thoroughly stopped by Quilge's neck. I thought Dog was finna be a pushover, but nah, Quilge really likes that for real. And to top it all, Quilge. Man, that's crazy. He stopped it with his neck. That's fucking crazy. 
Gay starts talking crazy too. He said, you might want to aim a little bit higher if you want to do something to me. What, you want this nigga to give you a haircut or something? Bro said, Make my shit straight, bitch ass nigga. Ichigo backs away from dog as Quill Gay starts charging up that sword and he's absorbing all the surrounding reishi he can. He even sucking the reishi out of Orihime shield. And his ass is over here still flapping them jaws, talking crazy. His ass was talking so much he didn't notice this big giant ass monster hand punching him in the mouth. And just like that, the Trace Beastie are back up and Mila Rose, you know what I said. But what just jawed the mess out of Quillgate was Ion. And for those of y'all that do not remember, this that same thing that the Trace Beastie has summoned in Fake Karakura. That big ass monster dude that was beating up all the lieutenants. But Quillgate stands up and oh nah. They done knocked this nigga's glasses off. Minus 200 aura, I'm not even gonna lie to you. Now I gotta look at this nigga's nasty ass eyeballs. And Quilgay still talking crazy. His ass is like, ain't no way a mindless ass beast like this is finna do anything to me. Do you know who I am? My name is Quill. Ion is knocking this goofy ass. Who I am? My name is Quill. Then you say, shut your bitch ass up. Ion is knocking this goofy ass nigga around. I'm crying. And Ion is straight cooking this nigga. Straight Hulk versus Hulk right. you dog. Gripping his ass hard as shit too. That's alright bro. Nobody's gonna take him from you. Ion is doing Quillgate so bad right now. He even got Chad and Orihime in disbelief. Orihime I understand bro. She's just a nice girl. Chad over there sweating. I know his ass is like shit. Man I should have stayed my ass at home. And look how Ion left Quilga in the dirt, man. Wings sticking out of the ground is nuts. This the type of ass beating you don't show anybody. I don't care if you went afterwards. Look how you are now. But one of the Trace Beasts, you pull up like, God damn. Ion just did this bitch ass nigga dirty. As they start nonchalantly walking up the dog just to get his ass right in their chest. As Quilga picks himself up out the dirt, literally, he's like, God damn. You know what, maybe I shouldn't have been underestimating you guys. As he turns his neck like a goddamn gear shift like this is normal. As he starts absorbing Reishi again. But Ion starts hard pressing Quilge. He's running top speed at dog. As Quilge completely absorbs Ion into his being. Turn that nigga into legs. <laughs> Quilge's design just got tougher. Bro got ripped straight out of a horror manga, man. What is this? And Quillgate's over here still absorbing Reishi, but now it's to such a potent extent that these niggas are starting to get absorbed too. Or he may Chad, the Trace Bestia, everybody. But you know who pulls up to come save the day? Big Ichi Go and his ass is already in Bankai as he destroys the Halo on top of his head. And I have no idea how Quillgate forgot about Ichigo? of all people, and then Ichigo and Quill get clashing. Mm. Look at this animation, dog. Studio Piero might do a lot of trashy things, but whenever they decide to get in a bag, they are one of one. Ain't nobody really messing with them on this animation beat when they get serious. We switch over to Kisuke POV and he gets a call on the phone from Soul Society and they're like, Erm, um, can you please send over Ichigo, man? We're over here getting our backs blown out by goddamn Quincy's, man. Please, man, please. And Kisuke's like crazy. That ain't got shit to do with me, though, because Ichigo currently fighting a Quincy right now. And we go back to Ichigo and Quillgate. And Quillgate's over here trying to steal his Bankai, but it's not working. And Ichigo teleported behind Quillgate and smacked his ass all the way down with this slash. Quillgate's ass over here hitting the dash or Ichigo just peppering right. his ass with get to the 10 shows. And Quillgate flies up in the air just to get met by Ichigo preparing to smack his ass with a get to good 10 show. And he does exactly that. Knock this goofy ass right on the ground. As Quillgate shoots these arrows at dog and Ichigo just swipes those holes away like they is nothing. As Ichigo gets down to Quillgate's level and he's like, you know what matter of fact there was a nigga trying to steal my bankai the other day. What's up with that? What's going on with y'all Quincy's? Y'all scared of it or something? And that pissed bro off as Quillgate started to yap it as Kisuke snuck shot dog right in his chest. Kisuke said Ichigo it's time to go. Your ass needs to get down to Soul Society now.
it seems them niggas cannot handle themselves without you. I have no idea how them niggas manage this long. Kisuke opens up a portal so Ichigo can go to Soul Society and his ass starts running through it talking on the phone with Akon about what's going on in Soul Society right now. But before Ichigo can get to Soul Society, the portal closes. As Ichigo like, that's strange, that ain't never happened before. He starts calling out to Kisuke huh? and we see that Orihime, Chad, and Kisuke all got pieced up by Quilge. And Quilge completely seals away Ichigo so he cannot go to Soul Society and help his homies out. And now that Ichigo is trapped, Quilge is like, alright, time to boom you niggas. He gets ready to boom Chad and Orihime, but a red beam just bisects this nigga Quilge in half. Oh, nah. In death, had this nigga face down, ass up, and that's the end of the cool game. Nah, you have died while your ass tooted is crazy. A portion. On to the real hoops. So after the Quincy's got done putting it in the Soul Society's stomach, we go back to Ichigo and he's just been seeing and hearing. Everybody died, he can't do nothing about it. Bro been spamming against the Gatencho trying to get out and it finally breaks open but now we back to the beginning of the video and ichigo pulled up on yuha and hashwa with the swiftness threw his sword down and said are you two the niggas that did all this yuha says yes and that's all ichigo had to hear because his ass starts charging up like crazy i mean look at this bro we ever seen ichigo this mad before ichigo and yuha then clashed and oh Boy, these niggas start Fox, I'm talking about Mika, Mika, Mika all over the Soul Society, man. Look at this animation. And Hoshwalt Majestic ass just looking in the background. I mean, look at this. You sure I'm not watching Dragon Ball right now? But Yuha knocks Ichigo down on the ground. Yuha comes down with him as he's just looking over at the rubble. Ichigo's in as bro starts whispering. Gets a good 10 show. Had that nigga Yuha Schmeckledorf. Yuha dodged out the way of it, pulled up on Ichigo, grabbed little bro by his hand, holding his on toe, gripped his hand, and slammed his ass on the ground. Ichigo tried to grab this old ass nigga, but Yuha said, get that shit out my face, little boy. As he proceeded to stab my goat in his throat, oh nah, I'm finna jump through the screen to do something about it. You was not doing my nigga Ichigo like this, big dog. Over here, got my nigga Ichigo gasping for air. I'm finna punch a hole through my screen, bro. Stop. And Yuha tells Hoshua, hey. Come pack this nigga up and bring him to my castle. Once this nigga's revived, I'm finna indoctrinate him into the Stern Ritters. But Ichigo's not dead yet, cause he grips his sword, but not only that, he activates Bloop Vein right where his neck got stabbed. And this is when the first time Thousand Year Blood War anime watchers came to the realization that Ichigo's half Quincy. My goat really a mutt man, what the hell? But he blasts you all with a Getsuka. Ichigo gets up, but Yuha is on that ass immediately. Ichigo blocks Yuha's attack, but he just slides down the base of Ichigo's sword and cuts his forearm, revealing that Ichigo was instinctively using blue vein. But Ichigo and Yuha start yapping. Long story short, Yuha tells Ichigo he's a Quincy. And pause, man. Why this nigga Yuha got his hands on his hip like that, man? Who you think he feeling like? But he also basically tells Ichigo that his mom was the Quincy without telling him his mom was a Quincy. But Yuha's like, damn, really? I'm running out of time. I'm taking your ass back home with me. Ichigo's ass starts screaming stranger danger as these beams of light start coming down surrounding Ichigo. And these beams of light start shooting arrows at Dog and he is deflecting these arrows the best he can, shooting Getsugas and everything. But after they get done shooting arrows at this nigga, they start pulling these rocks in and then they all just gang up on Ichigo, cooking his ass. But Yuha's ass was not done when Ichigo, he pulled up on Dog and he's like, hey, I'll kill you this time, bro. Your blue won't save you. But his time is up. It's time to go back to his castle. And you hawks like, damn, thought I had more time. As he remembers, it was eyes and bro deluded my senses. And then he looks at Hoshua and was like, why you ain't say nothing? And I think it's funny as hell thinking that Eisen just had this nigga you all talking to a wall straight for five minutes. A Hoshwat was outside like, damn, what's taking his ass so long? I mean, he's been in there for a minute. So all the Quincy's return and each of all like, ah, I ain't hear no bell. 
still trying to run a fade with U-Haul, even though this nigga had him unconscious two times in the span of five minutes. But Ichigo tries to pull up on U-Haul and Hoshwalt pulls out his sword and just cuts Ichigo's Tensazon Getsu right in half. The face of straight bamboozlement, man. This nigga is completely Schmeckledorf. But with that, the Quincy's dip a batter there, and that's the end of the fight. Ichigo lost this fight like crazy, but just know that run back finna be diabolical. And the moral of the story is, don't be a grown ass man telling 17 year olds you finna take them to your castle, man. The hell is wrong with you? But uh, yeah, if you like, like, comment, subscribe, do all that good stuff, and uh, I'm out of here. Bye. Get decent amounts of likes. I'm gonna do the next one that he re that he reads in the drop. So give me give me a few likes and I'll do it. At least few likes. That's all I can ask. So yeah, Maori. Peace.